Welcome to another Tip Tuesday, your quick actionable tips that you can put into place in your marriage today to help strengthen it. Today we're going to be talking about taking a dance lesson together. We did not plan that out, I promise. <laughs> You'll never know. Yes, your tip for today is to take a dance lesson together. The great thing about this time is that there is so much happening virtually. So yeah. you can find any kind of dance class online and it's great. You yeah. just take it when it's offered. Sometimes you can replay it. There's just so many options. Yeah, you can do tango, foxtrot, waltz, twerking, um, pole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, like any kind of dance. I would suggest doing couples dances. Maybe stay away from the break dancing. It's very difficult to connect with your partner when they're doing windmills. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Also, we're not liable or responsible for any injuries. Disclaimer. Yeah. Okay. The, the uh, legal stuff is in the bottom. Of the... But yeah, it's super fun. Like, of course, dancing is a wonderful way to connect with your partner. Very close to each other. It's something you might be learning together. In our case, she's a trained dancer. So it's always been a very much a teacher-student relationship but it's a very fun one too um, but a, a lot of people are mostly like not having a lot of experience with dancing so I think a majority of everybody's kind of you're gonna learn something really fun and it's always fun to learn something that you're not really familiar with get outside your comfort zone and get out there with your partner yeah I do realize that this is not an exciting thing for a lot of guys I have heard I can't even begin to tell you how many times that like from a guy I'm I'm not gonna do that like straight up, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. It breaks my heart because not not just because I love dance, but for the sheer fact of this man's wife loves to dance and he refuses to do something that makes her happy. Who cares if you stink at it? Like you, you are going, you're taking the class with your spouse, not to impress everybody else there. The biggest thing that people don't realize is that in any kind of dance class or workout class or anything like that, nobody's looking at you. Right. They're looking at themselves. Yeah. Yeah, they're all self-conscious. Yeah. So don't worry about what other people think. You're it's, it's making a sacrifice for your spouse. The person yeah. you said I do to, the person that you made a covenant with, that you're spending the rest of your life with. To me, that's a no-brainer. So I really want to encourage you to just find something out there. Find a virtual dance class where you can take East Coast Swing dance lessons together or Foxtrot or those are two really simple like kind of beginner styles that you can do together. Um, waltz is a little bit harder. Tango is a little bit harder. No, it's but just there... like three counts and you just go like up and down. It's very easy. <laughs> there, it's just something fun that you can do together. Also, you both might stink at it and that's the fun part. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you just laugh. So often we forget to laugh with our spouse. So it's just a fun thing to do together. Really, truly, I highly encourage you to do it. Yeah, so that's your tip Tuesday. Get out there on the flow. Yeah. Dance the night away. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notifications and like this video. Bing. Y'all are awesome. See you next time. See ya.